Hello, welcome to DS Database's iEdge update process tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to update your iEdge. I am Pharaoh's Visor of dsdatabase.org and the review sample used in this tutorial was provided by forcoolday.com. So if you happen to want to purchase a flash cart or an iEdge, please be sure to go visit our sponsor. So you'll see that we're dealing with the iEdge today and it is the DSi version of the Edge. One of the special things that the iEdge has is a fully updatable bootstrap. It ships completely blank and what that means is that you have to update the cart the moment you receive it. It's a bit of a hassle, however, the Edge website has a reference manual that is extremely helpful. Hopefully this video will guide you through how to update just fine. However, if you do have problems, feel free to message me or better yet, check the manual because it is written rather well. Now, moving on, you'll see that the download section for the Edge has downloads for the iEdge, the Edge, and the common downloads as well. The common downloads includes a cheat editor, a skin editor, and the media player Moonshell. This is extremely helpful for new iEdge users to discover what their what the iEdge can do. Also, you have the Bootstrap Updater, which is what we're doing today. They come in three flavors, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS X, making the iEdge one of the very few flash cards that can be used easily with Linux or Mac OS X, whereas everything else uses Windows. Now, our downloads will be in RAR format, so be sure to go to RAR Labs and download their software. And I've already pre-downloaded the Bootstrap Updater. This one is for Windows. And you'll see that when I double click it, there's a little application that pops up that requires you to specify a drive and the location of a ROM. Now, the notepad, the readme file that comes with the Bootstrap updater will give you the exact name, the release number, the checksums of the ROM file. I won't tell you where to go or where to download, but this is a, not particularly legal. I will, only be ha I will only have this ROM for a short time, but even so, Anyways, moving on, I've selected my drive, the Chipbank SD MMC Reader, and also I am specifying where my file is. And all you have to do is click Update, and skip the error, and you're done. Of course, keep in mind that you have to have an empty micro SD, and it is still it still looks empty, but the process is done. So now moving on to the next section of our video, we will be actually doing the update. Now we have our memory card all prepped, and I've shown you how I've done how to do that in the last video or the last section of this video and I've completely left it there was no changes in between the cuts and the edge currently boots up showing the edge icon as well it says instructions it's supposed to say read instructions but we get the idea we were supposed to read the instructions and perform the update. One of the problems is that the iEdge ships blank, and even though it works on the DS Lite, DS Fat, DSi, DS 
IXL, you still need to perform the update even if you have the oldest model, simply because it is blank. Now you'll see my micro SD here, the 2 gig, and I'm putting it into the edge and sticking it back into my DSi. And you turn it on. It's quite a simple process actually. You don't have to do anything. You flip it over and I hope you can see the red LED blinking. So it will blink as the cart updates and it will take a few more seconds and once it stops it will there it goes it stopped and is ready is completely ready for usage so the update is done you didn't have to click anything you just had to turn on the DSI it's quite similar to the to the iPlayer actually so right now what I'm doing is taking out my microSD and I'm putting in the one preloaded with the Edge firmware files and all my games. And let's see. Let's hope this works. And there we have it, Sudoku from Hudson. That is your new icon and it will boot straight into the iEdge menu. You get to choose your language, that's a first time only. And here are the icons. It looks exactly the same as the old Edge. There's a whole bunch of little settings and my gigantic list of games. And there you have it. This is an iEdge fully functional on a DSi 1.4. And keep in mind that this is absolutely necessary regardless of what model, what firmware version you're running because the iEdge ships blank. Now in the case that you update or the DSi updates in the future, you might have to go through this process again. And it should be the exact same process, perhaps a, a new download, a new bootstrap download and perhaps a new game file but that's all there is to it please be sure to go to www.dsdatabase.org and check out the iEdge review for any other little bits of information you might want and also if you're looking to buy the iEdge check out our sponsor www.forcoolday.com they are selling the iEdge for 20 bucks a piece, which is perhaps the cheapest on all over the internet. And yeah, support them and support us at the same time. So thank you for watching. I really hope that you guys all get your iEdges working. I know that there have been problems among many users. So if you have any troubles, feel free to give me an email or chat on the DS database forum. There are plenty of people out there willing to help, including myself. And yep, that's it for the update process. The iEdge is definitely one of the mo least painful methods of updating, so we're done. Thank you for watching.